What's up, everybody? We're here. We made it. Barely. And I got to be honest. I'm, it's a no for me, dog, when it comes to Miami. It's a no for me. I'm out. I'm out of Miami. My vote is thumbs down. The traffic, the driving was miserable. It's supposed to be about a four-hour and 20-minute drive. Took like six hours to get here. Was planning on, you know, getting here nice and easy, 45 minutes before the live, be able to settle into the room, kick back a little, you know, not have a stressful day today, but instead it turned into a long drive. But I got here, and you all were patient enough to stick around, so I appreciate that. I heard this is going to be one of the more interesting parts of the video. I've never actually seen the end of this interrogation. So that should be fun to watch together to see what happens when she realizes how this ends for her. Um, I appreciate everybody that uh, stuck around here and is going to watch this with us and has, if you've watched all three parts, let me know in the comments or in the chat, if you've watched all three parts of this interrogation with us here. And if you're a member like KT and Rebecca, I appreciate you. We always do some fun stuff for the members in the holiday season. So that'll happen. Uh, yeah, we're not going to be watching on two times speed. We're here now. We can kind of chill together, watch the rest of this, kick off the weekend by watching the remainder of the Sarah Boone interrogation. Um, Tori wants to know how many people are going to check out Brooks sentencing with us next week. We are going to uh, be watching that on this channel. Hopefully a lot of you can join. And Carolina, Carolina, Happy Veterans Day, and thank you to everyone who has served our country, including my partner, Pete Sardis, um, who was in the Army. And uh, yes, thank you to all of you who did serve. I know we've got a lot in the chat. They've told us on other times, so I appreciate it. If you are in the military, please let me know in the chat what branch, if you were, are, ever was in the military. Appreciate you. Thank you for your service. Um Somebody was saying on Twitter they were fighting with uh, Elon Musk because, you know, it's $8. They're like, oh, so much for free speech. And I'm like, free speech has never been free. And in my mind, it's all about the military is why we have free speech um, and why we got here, you know. So thank you, everybody. Um, I see some people saying new subscribers here. That's awesome. Uh, but without further ado, enough of that. Let's get to it the end of the chat or at the end of the video we can have some fun talking about some other stuff but let's get to the remainder of this interrogation of sarah boone and in case you're new this is the third part of the interrogation after um her boyfriend was found lifeless in a suitcase um that she admitted at least helping putting him in this is the next day where she's agreed and waived her rights and agreed to this questioning by law enforcement. And this is part three. We're going to finish it today. So am I getting my phone back? No. Not today. Um, what about Lucas's laptop? No. Not today. Okay. What does that mean? We're still going through everything. Oh, that's fine. You're the one just telling us there's videos that we need to see on it. So we That's need to fine. do our due diligence. And people are, people are usually mad because cops quote unquote lie. Um, they're allowed to not tell the whole truth or withhold certain information um, as part of the investigation, which they're telling her she's not getting her stuff back, but they're not telling her why. The answer is she's going to jail and that stuff's evidence in this crime, but they're making it seem like they're just going through it, you know, but maybe she'll get it back later. She won't that we go through everything. See, and that backfires on me now, too, because now you all think that I had even more, in quotes, intent to do what I did then, which was not intentional. What's that? And that, is that correct? She's asking about your tag in your hand. No, What's but up, I'm BJ? asking if that's correct. No, I'm not going to agree anything that something. you're saying. I'm not, that you're... So, his probation <coughs> officer. Mm -hmm. Do you all inform her, or do I need to call her? We don't need to. We don't have to inform her. So if you would like to call her, you can. Are you saying because he's still on probation? No, but it's because of the nice lady that she is and all that she's done for him, I thought it. I didn't know how it was. Legally, we just have to tell his parents, and we don't go telling. We don't. Everybody else. I didn't even know who his probation officer was, so no, I wouldn't go tell. So the same thing for classes. 
I need to do that too. Um, Classes. The you need to do what? Substance abuse class and his <coughs> battery okay, intervention. You know, Why is she worried about these classes? It's like nobody's going to care. His probation officer doesn't – he's not going to get in trouble for not checking in with his probation officer. It seems like she is not grasping fully what's happening here. So other than this, so initially what was the cause of death? She is still pending because she wants to – hold the body for an additional day to see if more of those bruises turn into something bigger. Um, and uh, she's doing some other tests that she's got to do. So she's pending it for now. So, and that couldn't have been because <coughs> of him being in the suitcase. Or that's y'all are saying she, that I physically what, did it. That's what she's determining. So the, the ones on the head, I, I asked her, could that have been from the suitcase? And she said, she didn't think so. I didn't touch him. So they're trying to see if the bruises develop and get worse. Um, and they're going to keep track of that. That's why they're going to keep the body. Uh, and she says again, I didn't touch him. Couldn't that have happened from him being in the suitcase? And they're like, well, yeah, some of them have already been determined to not have happened from being in the suitcase. Nor did he touch me. Okay. I love blizzards. I'm going to need a dad. Um, we'll come back to the blizzards. So I don't know if you all know how to do this because I, so that's what I was going to ask you to ask you. So are you all updating his parents today or when you get final, whatever? What does it matter? Why? Yeah. Why does she care? What we tell his parents? What do you mean? Because I, I we're going to have, we're going to talk to with them. Yeah. Okay. I, mean, I have to, but it's going like, to come down to me. What do you mean? Like, so it's being put on me. Oh. Who said that? But I'm so his parents are going to think I did it. It's like, well, we're just going to tell them this story. How do you think this story goes? And that's the point. And we tell our clients this about juries all the time is jurors don't know you, right? They're not going to know. They don't know you from Adam when you show up to trial. They don't know that you're a straight A student. Sometimes we can tell them certain things or what you did for him or all this stuff. And if any objective person that doesn't know you looks at these facts, what do you think they're going to think? And she knows what they're going to think. She knows it. That's why she, I think she wants to tell the parents first to try to, you know, make it sound like it wasn't her or something. And that, so what is it you would tell them? <laughs> We're going to give them an update just like we gave you an update on their autopsy. Okay. So it, whatever bruise. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Whatever on the head. We, we had to deliver news to them last night that their son was dead. There was not a whole lot of conversation that goes on after that. It's not a very easy thing. Was it yesterday or Sunday? Sunday. Today's Tuesday, right? Did we not meet you yesterday? We met you yesterday. Yeah. I'm just asking. Right? Did we not meet yesterday? It's a valid question. Uh, really? Yes, on Monday. Okay. 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 Got it. Perfect. This is, it's very strange so demeanor she has. Or how I find this out other than talking to his parents, which is not going to happen. Yeah. Probably a terrible idea. <laughs> what, this, how this, do you guys suggest? This officer is having none of it. She's sarcastic with her. She doesn't care if she hurts her feelings or makes her feel bad. She's like, lady, I've, I've got you pegged. That's what the officer thinks. And again, sometimes it can be okay. Sometimes they do that a little too quickly, but this is a good, I mean, most of us agree with this officer at this point in the interview, but sometimes this does happen when the potential defendant um, or the, uh, you know, alleged defendant doesn't deserve it. But I think we're all okay with it here. That, that's how it turns into cases where it shouldn't though, which is why maybe not get like this. Like me finding out about funeral. Yeah. That's not even something that's been probably talked about between the family, that's not something we ask. We have no way of. I know. didn't know, that's why I'm asking. Yeah. So it will be up to them to make the arrangements of what they want to do. Like she just told you, just quick, just being told last night. I'll pretty much be willing to wager that they have not even considered what they're going to do. 
Oh, my body can't even be released. No. So yes. I've been there with parents, grandparents, aunt and uncles. Um, so I don't know if I have the right to or not, but like I was going to call his former employees whom he really cared for and let them know. You can call whoever you want. I just don't want to do something that I'm not supposed to. Um, You've already done something you're not supposed to. How do I go about getting his um, wedding ring, engagement ring? It's at the medical examiner's office. It'll come to us eventually. And it'll, then it'll, it'll be released to, oh, to, to the family. next of kin. Yeah, okay. I bought it for him. Okay. That is a civil issue. Oh my gosh, how gross is that? So she wanted to make sure she gets the ring that she bought for him. Um, that's, I guess, what people meant. Somebody's like, how many men wear a, an engagement ring? Who knows? A uh, couple questions, though. Uh, Carol Martin, what happens to alcoholics in prison? Do they just go cold turkey as soon as they're in jail? Sarah's an alcoholic? Yes. So drugs and alcohol is a big thing that uh, they have detox programs. Sometimes they'll go to the medical ward because of it. But yes, it's cold turkey. 99% of the time. Tina, I also don't understand why they wait so long to tell her she's being arrested now, unless they're trying to get more out of her. Always. They're trying to push and get as much out of her, try to get a confession out of her and any admissions out of her, anything they can use against her in court, they are going to push to get all of that. Under your scars, can I send you an email? Important. Absolutely. Lawyer, you know, at gmail.com. And real quick, for those of you that don't know, real practicing personal injury lawyer in Tampa Bay, Florida, all across the state and even across the country in injury cases. So if you have one, shoot me an email. We can talk about it. I'll be happy to help you if I can. Brianna, Peter, you're so hard on Sarah Boone. I agree. Here's what I'll say, though. Again, I'm not making my mind up as to if she's guilty of any crimes, but what she is admitted to doing and flip-flopping back and forth just in this interrogation is despicable to someone she says she loved. And then the way she's talking about him and then asking to make sure she gets that ring back she paid for, it just is a little gross to me. Uh, Mo, you can tell she's so distraught. Oh, yeah. Uh, Kimberly Cook, hey, Firefly, thanks so much for the gifted membership, Firefly. You are awesome. Ashley Harris, uh, so she keeps weighing what a day. I'm sorry, what a good day it was. But in the video, she's literally grilling him about the way he treats her. How did it go from a good day to that? What happened in between? I think she would say, you know, if she her best argument would be she got drunk. And somebody, I think Billy said, drunk is or, or alcohol is a truth serum. I think that's kind of how she could explain it, but I don't know how she would explain it because she's explained everything five different ways throughout this interrogation. Uh, love, lovely Minnesota or MN. She thinks she's so above them. Absolutely. She does. Let's get back to it. It was on his finger. It goes to them. They're the ones that are going to release it. We don't have any say in that. So I won't get that back. So for all of this, like, how do I find out what's what, how many, like, what's been found? What do you mean? Uh, pillow with stain, swabs of stain from pillow, suitcase. That will all be sent off to the daily Florida Department of Law Enforcement. Yeah. They do their testing. So, and then, like, whatever white can with blood and necktie with blood was from the suitcase. Okay. Why would you guys, oh. You'll see it in there, the baseball bat for Lucas. And the feet. And this is just his phone, my phone, and then the laptop. Yeah, when anything can be released, we will release it, but we are very early in this investigation. And it's not so, an overnight process, unfortunately. So, what's next? They're going to come and swab your fingers. No, I'm talking about like in the long run, like what you're are going to jail. Like, do I need to be doing something or like, I can't tell you what to do. I mean, like, so like, how apathetic does this cup? So I, I can't like tell you what to do. Sorry, it doesn't happen overnight. And she's trying to figure out, am I going to jail today? That's what Sarah's trying to figure out. For like, I don't understand. Like, I don't know if you guys are just gonna like, because it makes it sound. Thank you, June, for your service. Like to me, like I'm being accused of something that was not intentional. I'm being accused of it. Mm -hmm. And a handful of other things that I'm being accused of. Okay. 
So I don't want to be at home with Lucas and you guys show up. It won't happen. Don't worry. So it's, or we're still investigating. We're, I don't know what you want me to tell you. Am I so going to jail today? Is there going to be concrete whatever it is? And then it's like, okay, this is what it is kind of thing. Or like, because I've done the whole court thing. I've done the whole attorney thing. I've done whatever. So if I'm not admitting anything about being intentional and I killed George. Okay. That's not the situation, but it's trying to. I'm not admitting anything is what she said. She should say I'm denying that, which she has multiple times. They depend on me. Okay. That was not my intent. But it's trying to depend on me. So however or whatever it is I need to do in order for that to be proven, then I need to do so, which is why I'm trying to get my ducks in a row. Okay. So that's why I'm asking what the next step is other than me getting my nails swapped. I mean, you want me to tell you how to not be accused of a crime? That yes, what you're asking? Like, that'd be great. I'm want. trying to prepare myself for whatever may need to be done so I can I, I guess, I stick up for myself. I mean, I think you're doing just fine. You came, you talked. I just don't want you guys <laughs> to, again. You're doing just fine. You came, you talked. It's like, you're not doing just fine for yourself. Show up when <coughs> Lucas is in the house. Well, we did tell you yesterday that we don't want to do anything around your son, hence why you came to us. So I don't know. Tori, they can use this as impeachment, usually not her body language to say that she, you know, was lying or doing something like that. Usually you can't use that in court. But what she said to impeach herself and then ipso facto, if you see her body language like we did for Amber Heard, she went oh, because of the impeachment, then yes, that can come in. I don't know why you think that's going to change. That and or me not just show up back home. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? That or what? Me just not show up back home. That's what, oh, he's so happy that I'm staying over the house with Brian. Like, so happy. And I'm not going back to the house, to my house, for however long I can stay over here because of whatever to blow over. Mm -hmm. And again, if you don't mind me asking, so for whatever it is you all are, claiming from the videos, which, yeah, it's, is that what you're going to tell them? Like his parents? It's like, oh yeah, and by the way, she did. Well, that's what happened. I mean, what would you tell him? I don't think it really matters what we're going to tell the parents. Oh yeah, it is. It's fuel to the fire. Fuel to what well, fire? We can't hide things. And I don't know. I, I'm not saying we're going to go. <clears throat> I'm not saying that we're going to go and tell them every single thing we have. Um, but again, this is the Orange County Sheriff's Office as public record. So eventually like this all will come out. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I'm not, yeah, you're making it sound like we're going to tell them something. So then your life is in danger. And I don't like that accusation. Mm -hmm. So let's just nip that in the butt right now. Well, that's what. First off, She's allowed to do that. There's nothing wrong with her saying that. This officer's getting a little bit pushy, in my opinion, with that. Um, what they should just say is, okay, well, we'll do everything we can to protect you and help you. That's really all they should say. It's going to happen. I cannot. But, I we, cannot can, we, but we can't even. But so <laughs> technically, there's no concrete report yet, even. Right. So, so it's, um, you want me to like, I'm tell you exactly what I'm going to tell them. I don't know what I'm going to tell them. I don't know what I'm going to tell them. Let's just leave it at that. Just like, you don't know why you went upstairs. I don't know what I'm going to tell them. So can, are dealing with, can, uh, I, can I do, can I call you the way that I did last time? <laughs> yeah. My phone is an open line. Missy should be there. I don't want you to get no, I get it. Look, I get it. What do you get? That looks really bad. Yeah, it does look really bad. So that's what scares me. Like, what do I need to plan on? Like, what do I need to plan on? I promise you, 
on my son's life. It was not intentional. I promise you, on Lucas's life, it was not intentional. <clears throat> I don't know you. I can't say I know anything about you. I don't know what is what would be a true statement, what would not. I mean, if you're promising on your son's life, that's fine. <laughs> that's how much it means. She doesn't care Sorry. or believe you. That's how, much it, look, you that's how much it means. Okay. I hope you take that to heart. This is literally, like, if you watch my last video, yes, Tina, exactly on point here. But if you watch my last video, people constantly, this is not a one-off, people constantly try to convince cops of their innocence. It never works. It never works. All right, please. It's documented that you said that, yeah. I get it. It's documented that you said that. Do you have any idea when I can get my phone back? No telling. What did you say? I just said no telling. I mean, it's, our digital forensics unit is uh, got a lot of cases on their plate. I mean, well, and that's not technically my around. laptop. It's Lucas's laptop okay. that he plays. You'll see all the games that he has on there. As soon as we can get that back to Lucas, we will. As soon as we can release your phone, we will. But there's, we have no way of being able to tell you because we don't have control over their caseload and how they, they arrange what they do. So I don't know. And at this point, I think, honestly, with everything else that's going on. That Southern Sass, they will not see the entire interrogation, no. Uh, Marissa, I have seen Bruce. Bruce is awesome. I really, really like Bruce. And we may actually work together on, on real cases, sending cases back and forth. If I get something in Minnesota and we talk about, if you get something here, we may actually have some referral clients together, which would be fun. Uh, and yes, he talks a lot about self snitching and that's pretty much what she's doing here. That should probably be, be at the bottom of your list of worries. I'm trying to make Lucas happy so he can have his laptop back. Does yeah. Brian not have a laptop for him? He has his laptop that he has to do for work. But I like. But he doesn't want him using it or breaking or dropping. I really need this laptop back and all the evidence. I think I don't think she's. I think parts maybe she's confused. There's nothing on the laptop anyway. You probably would have said the same thing about your phone, right? And how could you really remember if with all the wine that you were drinking? I mean, this is she's not in a position to be making any promises. Um, and I, I agree with you, Class Act Beauty. She's not, she does not realize what's about to happen. So you Silence. will keep me posted, like updated. Mm -hmm. That's my thing is I'm trying to figure out what I need to do in the meantime. I don't know. I can't. Like, I don't know what to tell you, though. Like, what am I? What? But you all have more information than I do. Where it's like, <coughs> yeah, you might wanna, or yeah, you might wanna. Like, might wanna get a lawyer. Information on what? Like, we told you everything that we have. You know everything that we know. And most of it we got from you. But that, like I was telling her, like. Yeah, that's bad. Like, which I swore in my son's life was not intentional. Yeah, I don't know if you heard that oh. part, uh, Mr. Mail Officer, but I swore on my son's life. Like, so that means you can't arrest me, right? It is, she's not doing very well. She's really not doing very well for herself. Tori, I'm going to answer that question a little bit later. Tina, do you think they will find any of George's DNA under her fingernails? I am naive to all in a lot of this. It's possible. I don't know what the answer was when this all happened, if they actually did, but you know, with the scratches and stuff, but she said it had to do with, you know, some kinky sexual activity or something that, that might be some uh, scratches and things like that. JJ, so glad to catch you live. Found you through EDB and the Deaf Be Heard trial. Love your content. I'm in the UK, but learning so much about US law. Thank you, JJ, for joining us. Uh, Shireen, the court has... Uh, the court case has been pushed back a few times. It's partially because she's going through so many lawyers. 
Um, do you know why every case gets continued? Most cases get continued multiple times. I thought it was January, but maybe it's set for the middle of February. We will cover it when it goes to trial. That's why I'm trying to figure out what I need to do for myself. Okay. Going forward with it. Nonetheless, with his family. And are you all just showing up with Lucas in the house? I think we've already both told you that we would be mindful of any situations. So you guys, I guess you're going to call me tomorrow? Or do we need to come back down here? I'll talk with you next She's asking all the questions in a roundabout way to figure out, am I getting arrested today? Um, I have no idea what I'm going to call you next. Uh, doesn't the report come out tomorrow? Mm -hmm. I'm just saying a report is generated through us, and the sheriff's office is a public entity. So if someone were to come request something, then... No, I'm talking about um, his autopsy. She's waiting and doing more follow up, but she's looking at him again. <clears throat> yeah. But she won't be finished with him because she's, she's pending for other stuff. So after this, what? You go to jail. I'm done? She knows Sam? the answer. She knows the answer. They're like not looking her in the eye. How long does this stuff take to get back? The that you, you won't get back. The swabs and stuff will, will stay. They all know about it? That's commitment, CJ. Let's answer a couple questions here while we're at a slow part of the video. Um, Elmer Sai. Thanks for the content. Are you following the Delphi murders? I read the judge recused himself from the case. What does that mean? It doesn't happen often. It does not happen often. Uh, I think the judge was related to somebody, a family member or something. I can't remember. No, there was something the judge, oh, the judge, I think in that case, wrote a letter to the media, like, don't make me look bad in this case. I think that was that case, but don't quote me on that. Um, judges recuse themselves when they can't be impartial or they're not the right judge for that case. It doesn't happen very often, but it has happened before. It's not like one in a million. Maybe one in 10,000 cases. I don't know. Uh, pet, pity mom slash law tube junkie. So she should have hired a lawyer before going into the interrogation and brought that person with her. She can stop this at any time, correct? No, this interrogation would literally never happen if she had a lawyer. Never would have happened. It definitely wouldn't happen like this. Um, and she should have hired a lawyer immediately when the cops started asking her questions. She should have hired a lawyer Whenever they read her rights, she should have hired a lawyer. Whenever she felt things started going bad for her, she should have asked for a lawyer. There's a million different times she should have got a lawyer in this case. Joanne Wages, why are they not telling her she isn't going home? Because she hasn't called it, right? She says, hasn't said any magic words. She hasn't stopped talking. She hasn't stopped making admissions. She hasn't stopped saying things that they could potentially use against her. She hasn't asked for a lawyer. She hasn't done anything to force them to stop. And cops don't get... Um, just people sitting there giving them all the information they need that often. So they're going to use it as much as they can. Uh, Kesa Dilly Bar. Hey, Peter, I finally joined. Could the defense call a mental health expert to testify to narcissistic personality disorder as a mitigating factor? I do not think that would work. I've never seen that actually work. That narcissistic personality disorder works as a mitigating factor in a case like this. People usually don't feel bad for people in that situation. Uh, Lisa Boris. Peter, because of your coverage of this, I've told both my boys to never speak to police without an attorney. You said, especially if innocent, which I found interesting. Thank you. Yes, absolutely never. Never talk to the cops without a lawyer. Without a lawyer. If a lawyer is with you and they're, they're telling you, like, you can talk about these things, but not these things. We'll give the cops these things, but not these things. We can help in the investigation in this way, but not that way. It's really important. It is not just if you're guilty to try to screw the system or keep guilty people on the streets. That's not how it is, right? We have broken parts of the system everywhere through the way with lawyers, with witnesses, with cops, with judges, whatever it may be with media, there are broken parts of the system. So why open your, yourself up to any chance that 
the media could start running with the story so far before you ever did anything that you could be convicted before the trial starts. That's what you want to really avoid. Um, that's the long way of saying, yes, always get a lawyer. Hello, Dina. Welcome to the membership crew. Our dispatch center keeps calling my phone. I keep having to have other people call them to see what they need. I hope you all can really both truly understand that that was not my intention. We, we get that that's what you're saying. I miss him a lot. Mm -hmm. No I, But my question has remained the same. What do you expect to happen to somebody when you leave them in a position like that? Yes, but you have to understand too. I know. Okay. Just what would you expect to happen to somebody when you leave them in a position? I have no idea because I've never done it before. Why have you never done it before? Why would I? Exactly. Oh, why, why would I do you? it before? Why did you do it now? Exactly. I, he got her. I For all of you asking why they haven't just arrested her and told her she's going to jail, that's why. Because she continues to make admissions and say things that are going to be used against her. Clearly has said why. I, why? No, you don't know never, why. You, never, you just know that it's not intentional. Yeah. But you don't know why. But that's okay. Really? I'm not trying to force you to say something that you don't know. <clears throat> Make sure you say that for the video. I'm not trying to force you to do anything. You're here voluntarily. It's feeding and penning. that you guys would assume that I'm that kind of person. We're not assuming anything. We're going by the facts. It happens. Like you said, you don't know me. Well, we have all these pauses. Gianna G talked about blizzards. While we wait, throw your favorite blizzard in the chat or in the comments, and I'll tell you mine in a little bit. Absolutely, Weather Watch. You gotta do like a subscriber golf match or something. So for me to have to live with getting him yep. out and doing what I did is punishment enough. I think that's why I haven't slept. Because that's all I see. So that right there says something. Not my intention. My mouth is watering looking at the chat. I'm starving. And blizzards are amazing. But one is much better than the rest. It's really not close. <coughs> no. 
nonetheless, I have to live without him now. Yeah. She's yeah. like, that should be my punishment. Yeah. Punishment in itself. Yep. I knew that was coming. Yeah. And you don't have to be a savant. It's just you hear enough people yeah. deny things and say it like this. That's what it sounds like. I'm with alcohol. And it's unfortunate that stupid things like this happen. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Nonetheless, I have to look it out now. Mm -hmm. She has some themes that she keeps going back to. Thank you, Kay. Anna. Yeah, her daughters too. Are you trying to make it worse? Are you trying to make it worse? She said, no, he's trying to get a rise out of you, which it looks like it's about to work. Um, all right. My favorite blizzard by far, the best blizzard. Tori said anything with peanut butter. That's close. That's my general go-to, but moo. Absolutely, hands down. Angie, Kathy, Amy, Radana, all of you on point and more. More. There were more votes for Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. That is by far the best blizzard. Um, answer a couple questions here, Marty. So she had a lawyer because she's still been arrested. Absolutely, you can. So having a lawyer doesn't prevent you from getting arrested. What it pre what it prevents you from is trying to lie your way out of a situation when you don't even understand how the law works, right? Tell the lawyer what happened. You tell your lawyer what happened and your lawyer will say, okay, that's not an intentional homicide. Going in there and doing this, now it just sounds like she's bouncing back and forth, inconsistent, maybe lying. And maybe the cops are starting to think it, it was intentional. So it's not saying like you'll get away scot-free or you'll never get convicted of a crime or you'll never get arrested. That's not what it means when you get a lawyer. It means your rights are actually protected. That's the point. Uh, Stephanie, isn't it true that you have to be charged to get a public defender? So you have to obtain your own lawyer prior to an arrest. She would be able to speak to a public defender right now. She would be able to speak to a public defender right now, um, especially once they arrest her. But that's a good question. So before you're arrested, you would have to actually retain your own counsel to meet with. I'm not sure if you'd be able to go talk to the public defender. That's a really good question. I've never been a, I've never was a public defender, but it's a good question. I think that, I think that you're right. Does the Royal Navy count? Worked with USN and USMC. Ship's cat. Very cool. Robin, I love the fact that they keep using their phones in front of her, LOL, because she's so concerned about her phone. Thank you for the coverage. Yeah, everything they're doing is to poke and prod at her just a little bit or a lot. Like he just said, he's even got daughters. And she said, are you trying to make it worse? Sorry, what? Are you trying to make it worse? Make what worse? How I feel. Yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing CSI, that was there yesterday. I think she took your photos. Uh, Teresa, yeah, I know it depends on income as to whether or not you can get a public defender, but I don't know if you can get one with no criminal charges pending. If, if anybody can just go talk to a public defender if they're afraid that they're going to get arrested for something. That's a question I, my dad would probably know, but I, I don't know the answer to that. It's a good question. Yeah, Culver's Concrete, I saw somebody just post. Also good, not as good as a blizzard. Yeah, if they read you your rights, then yes. Uh, Makes sense. So I'm just going to take a swab and go around on one hand and then do the separate one for your other hand. Okay. Mm. 
nih. <laughs> no, Valerie. You're, you're wrong on this one, Valerie. The suspense is building. <coughs> it's like she's coughing right into the microphone. Myra, do you regretting not sending you a shirt from the course at Denzante Bay in Mexico when I was there last month? They don't have an online store. You should look at a vacation there. So some of the YouTube golfers that I follow, they played there and did like a series of matches there and stuff. And they said it was one of the best courses they've ever played. And it looked absolutely beautiful. If I ever go there, you better believe I'm playing golf at Danzante Bay. Kay says, finally a member. Live in New Mexico. If someone I know needed a criminal defense lawyer and had the resources to hire you, could you come and rep us? Yes, potentially. Probably more likely my dad if they had the resources uh, to hire him. Uh, I am pretty much just doing uh, injury cases, wrongful death cases, car accidents, slip and falls, catastrophic injuries. I'm focusing a lot more on those injury cases and civil cases than criminal. I've done a lot of criminal in the past, and I like doing injury cases and representing victims a lot more personally. Jessica, yay, finally made a live again so I can finally ask, what is the special word she keeps using? Comp, comp sentence? Comp sentient? I think you might be talking about the, the what I said was a $3 word the other day where she basically said she had her wits about her, but she used some, some word that she said. I didn't hear her say it today. If she does say it today, let me know. But I think what it means is she had her wits about her, a.k.a. she wasn't drunk. She wasn't smashed. She wasn't sloppy. She knew what was going on. Um, she wasn't trashed. I think she thinks that's better for her. I'm not so sure it is. Compost mentis. I knew the chat would have that. Me too, Donna. Me too. Is there any in walking distance to downtown Miami? Boom. Just letting you know your rights, you know? You have a right to watch YouTube videos faster. Uh, this is when they're taking the, the DNA from under her nails, if any exists. Father Bill Fox just subscribed. Awesome. No, de no death penalty here in second degree murder. Nala, I am late, but here. We'll be here for Brooks from Australia. Our legal systems are so different. Crime rates too. Find the U.S. so interesting. Love, L-Y-K. Thank you, Nala. Do, 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 do. Thank you, Rebecca. Some, some dead air if I've ever heard it. Myra, people didn't know why you vacationed there without golfing, <laughs> but it was seriously too beautiful to pass up. I mean, the views are amazing. Uh, Chickenhead saw another show about her and saw what is going on nowadays. She sent a wacky letter to her attorney in it. She screamed at them for not talking to her. That's a common complaint. Um, a lot of criminal defendants have that their lawyers don't talk to them. We actually put it in our fee agreements that you have the right to talk to your attorney about the case in reasonable intervals because we want more communication because we think that actually helps the case. But sometimes in the public defender's office, especially if they're overworked, sometimes they don't talk to clients as much as they want to. Some clients are just miserable and want to talk and yell at you every second of every day. And that's not reasonable, which is why we say reasonable intervals, right? So you've got to find that, that balance. 
Lisa, blizzards were new in 1984, 85, my first year of college. We stood in line for hours to get one. That's amazing. Did they do the old flip it over for you to prove that it's a real blizzard? Thank you, Z. Z Martin brings back flashbacks of T Martin, the old left-handed quarterback at Tennessee that beat Florida State one year. Carolina, did she have to let the police into her into her apartment, Peter? Yes, at that point it was a. Uh... Sorry, that's loud. Yes. They were going to come into her apartment whether or not she allowed it because of the safety issue, because there was a body in there. It was a crime scene. They know a, potentially a crime had occurred. Um, they would have had a right to enter into her apartment at that time um, based on what was being said and being done at that point. And people said the neighbors said they heard, you know, fighting and things like that. Thank you. Reasonable suspicion of crime had occurred in there. <coughs> Okay, Sarah. So you're not free to go. Okay. Oh, do you promise everything you told us was the truth? Or no? <clears throat> everything we've talked about today? Yes. What do you mean? I did she say you're not free to go or you are you're now free to go? At first, I thought she said you're not free to go. I, he asked to swear. Remember how I swore you yesterday on the on the audio recording? I just forgot. So he raised his hand to remind me to tell you. Okay. Do you promise and swear that everything we talked about today has been true and accurate to the best of your knowledge? Or which true everything. and accurate to the best of your knowledge? What that it wasn't intentional? Everything, everything you've said you today, everything that's come out of your mouth has been true and accurate to the best of your knowledge. To the best of my knowledge. Correct. Yes. Why? Because That's anytime how you we talk to somebody, we <coughs> want to assure that everything that we've talked about is true and accurate to, to the, the best, best of that person's knowledge. knowledge. Not a trick question. To the best of my knowledge. To the best of your knowledge. Everything that you've told us today is true and accurate to the best of your knowledge. Yes, but it was not intentional. Okay. Okay. All right. Do me a favor. Stand up. <laughs> Why aren't they you telling? This is ball. this is weird Can at this point. Do you have anything in your pockets that I should know about? No. Okay. Why is this happening? Because George is dead. Not intentionally. We understand that. He's still dead. Well, we don't. Someone really needs to call him. Ryan, please. Okay. Or can I not make a phone call? <laughs> You'll be able to make a phone call. And then we get you down to the jail. So why is this So this was a trick. No, it's not no, a trick. No. We're two hours in and she's just figuring out what's going on. Literally two hours in. That was a trick. I'm here to ask you to explain a few things to us. Uh -huh. and you were right, you're right. Your response to everything was basically, I didn't do it. Intentionally. Do it doesn't matter. You still did. It doesn't matter. You still did. They already read them, Carolina. <laughs> really, guys? Really? So if I didn't show up, <laughs> why is it happening? She's just figuring it out. So if I didn't show up, maybe I wouldn't have got arrested. Well, maybe it would have would have made it harder on us. You made it a lot easier on us. Before you all said I could leave. Mm -hmm. That I was done after yeah. this. After that. We were done, yes. We were done. Absolutely. So now, so that's what it is. We are done. Right. Not intentional. Okay. So what am I supposed to do now? You would... Someone needs to call Brian. Okay. Lucas is waiting for mom to come home. This was not my intention. I thought I was waiting for you all to come and figure out what's what and how many. That's what we're trying to do. And I was going to be able to go home and see Lucas. <coughs> now he's just not going to have me come home. So there's nothing that I can do. I don't know. 
there's nothing that I can do in order to go home and see Lucas and prepare. Not right now, no. You'll be afforded a time in court. You'll be afforded an attorney. You'll be afforded a chance to talk to a judge and all that stuff will be worked out. But what's the time frame for that though? Forever. I've been able to tell you, you should make first appearance probably by tomorrow morning, if not tonight, depending on how things are busy, how quickly you get down there. I, don't, I had a I don't sneaky suspicion this was going to happen. And I need water, like, really bad, please. Yeah, I'll check me down here. She, she had a suspicion that this was going to happen. I just got those. Okay. They are not allowed in the jail. So I can't even smoke my car as I go. What? And what am I supposed to do with my car? You find where it is. When you get down there, you'll have free phones. You'll be able to call. What, as soon as possible? Yeah, once you get down in there, get booked in. You'll be able to uh, use a phone in the, in the way. But how area. long will that take? Because I need to talk to Brian. I don't know. It depends how busy, how quickly they get you through. I'm it's not quick. Now. It's not quick. It's a free phone yeah. call yeah. In, the, in the lobby. It's a free All phone call. All I'm doing is bring you there. Yep. The paper, you know, she has no clue. So can I ask you? They intentionally do this, right? Nobody knows all the answers to make this any, you know, more understandable or smoother for the criminal defendant because they don't care about the process for the criminal defendant. Um, those holding cells? The holding cells? Mm -hmm. Am I going to be putting one of those? Because I don't know. Last time I had a panic attack. Okay. Let them know that. Yeah. I don't know. Well, you, you're familiar with the big bay. As long as you go in and you act civil to them, they'll set you in the big bay. And you'll be left there for Can a you while. request that while I'm there? No, that's not up to us. Mm -hmm. We don't work at the jail. As long as, as, long as like he's saying, if you don't if act If you go up, in and act like this, you'll go in and they'll put you in the big bay. If you go in there screaming and kicking and yelling and cursing, do that? I don't know. I'm just letting you know that's what happens. That's how they, they weed people out. If you go in acting like this. So I ask for the big bay? No. They'll put you there as long as you're acting like this. I, yeah, because the last time I had a major panic attack okay. in the middle there. She wants to make sure she gets the right room. Okay? Yep. So what am I going to do with my purse? Oh, sorry. Your purse is going to come, but the cigarettes and stuff can't, so. I put, in, I put the lock up too. Oh, no, it's all good. Mine are now up, so. What made you all decide to do this? Made us decide to do this? Uh huh. George is dead. You guys, I knew this was going to happen. You did? Okay. So I came well, down here willingly. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. We were trying to figure out what's going on. We're still trying to figure out what's going on. Unintentionally. She not. thinks she's being smart by saying unintentionally. It's like Daryl Brooks style. You, you act like when you say unintentionally. It's like running through her head. Oh, he's about to say. You act like saying that makes a difference. It's like she's running through her head like, maybe I shouldn't have done this. Yeah, that absolves you from everything. I need to get, I have my, I don't know if it's you able to be, to be or not. I apologize. I have things in my car that I need to you don't need anything right now, Sarah. What kind of stuff do you have in the car that you're worried about? Well, I have my medication. Okay, they have a pharmacy there, so if there's something that you have to have right away, you'll be seeing a nurse. It's panic attack stuff. Well, again, when you get checked in, you're going to be seeing a nurse. And that they have a pharmacy there, so they'll be able to take care of any kind of that stuff. That protocol is out of my realm. I don't work down there, so I don't know, but I do know they do have a pharmacist and that you will be afforded to see somebody. Okay? Hold on. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. My bad. And that's a wrap. That is a wrap of the Sarah Boone interrogation. But before we go, let's get to your questions here. 
Southern gal, Jen, Jen, have you followed the fleeing girlfriend case in Florida at all? Just curious. Stay safe from tropical storm. Nicole, we are safe from tropical storm. Nicole, thank you for that. I have not followed that at all, unfortunately. So I don't really have any comments on it. June Sidlowskis. Uh, do you represent the veterans and family with contaminated water at Camp Lejeune, North Carolina? Also, if it's an active member is gone, can their dependents sue? So yes, I'm actually working with a firm here in Florida on those cases, and I've got a few of them from YouTube. I'm actually going to be with the attorney in this uh, weekend. I'm down in Miami for the Florida Justice Association mock trial competition. Uh, students from law schools all over Florida come here and uh, do a fake trial that we as the lawyers judge and as the Florida Justice Association Young Lawyers Board, uh, we put on this mock trial and the lawyer that I work with on those cases is going to be with me. So send me an email, lawyer, you know, at gmail.com. And I will, uh, I will get with them to evaluate the case to see if you have a claim. Joanne wages. Why is this not first degree murder? I think it would be really hard for them to prove that it was intentional and premeditated. And she wanted to do this and planned to do this. I think they charged her with the highest that they could based on the facts. JP, is it true? There's no bond on a murder charge in Florida. Yes. Marissa Esposito, have you ever done any golfing out in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania? I live close to a couple of different golf courses, about 45 minutes outside of the city. I have not. I think I golfed in New Jersey is the closest to Pittsburgh. JJ, hi, Peter. Do you plan to cover the Murdoch trial? Absolutely. We've done a lot of videos on it. JJ, if you head over to our page and check out the Murdoch uh, playlist, we've done a lot on that. I'm very interested in that case and all of the wild aspects of it. Uh, Kesa Dillibar, does the fact that her house is a crime scene entitle the cops to search for a whole, the whole house and anything they found will be admissible in court? Potentially, it would have to be um, somewhat reasonable in the search of the crime that they think committed. Usually with a murder charge, they have free reign to go through the entire house. Becky, if she hadn't said anything, would the charges have been different or were the videos enough? Well, Bodie here says that it's negligent homicide at best. And I would agree with Bodie if she would have had a lawyer first, if she would not have done this interview, I think the best and the highest charge they would have gone with would be negligent homicide. But because of everything she said and she made it look like she was maybe covering up things or lying, they felt like they had enough for the depraved heart. The videos potentially could have been enough for the brave depraved heart as well. Second degree murder. Uh, Father Bill, sorry, I got your name wrong before, Peter. Don't worry about it at all. Barbara Kangas, I feel like she was pissed at him and <clears throat> just wanted to give him a taste of his own medicine and it went wrong. Would the result have been any different for her in that case? If she intended to hurt him and it turned into death, that could have even potentially gone to, to intentional homicide. But again, I think it, even with these facts, second degree murder is possible. I think her best case scenario was a negligent homicide. Um, but even with these facts, yes, I think second degree murder is the, is the crime they would have charged. Lovely. MN. She doesn't get that she isn't in charge anymore. And she keeps saying she needs this stuff. It's like, you really don't, they got everything you need over there now. Is the public defender the same as district attorney? If not, why? So public defender defends the alleged criminal defendants. The district attorney or state attorney's office prosecutes them. So they're on the opposite sides. The district attorney and the state attorney is the same. And the U.S. attorney is the federal version of the state attorney. C.C. Walters. She needed an attorney about two hours ago by this interview. Two hours ago by this interview started. When the interview started. Yes. Uh, Rich Cat. Hope we're still on for, for next Friday. Love to you all. Yes. I've got it in my calendar. Tina Crichton. She's in for, she's in for more surprises in all of this. Uh, yeah. She's like, I had a feeling this was going to happen. 808 fee. Now, I don't put peeps in suitcases, but she could have easily gotten off. Down another bottle, erase the footage, say you passed out. There's lots of stuff she could have done differently. Azam, thank God I set my alarm and watched this on my laptop. I just got a notification on my phone seconds ago. Thanks, Peter. I don't know what it is with YouTube. They're worth like $200 billion and they can't get the notifications right. Tori, okay, Peter, million dollar question. If you were her lawyer, what would you do for her defense? My defense for her would be it was a total accident. She loved him. She didn't want to do it. Again, you've got to realize I don't know all the facts that I would know if I was her, her criminal defense attorney. But let's say he actually did get into the suitcase. He actually zipped it up the most way. He asked her to zip it up. He was messing with her. They were playing games before. He does this all the time. They do tricks. He plays tricks on her because he tries to say, like the cry wolf thing, he tries to say, oh, come get me. 
And then she does and he laughs at her and makes fun of her for always falling for it, you know, stuff like that. I, I don't know if those facts are true, but speculating that there are some additional facts based on what she said in these interviews, maybe she goes something like that. Definitely go with, there was the, the whole, he didn't want to get out. Um, you know, there, there's a, that's basically all you got to work with, right? Is that it was an accident or that he didn't want to get out or he put himself in that p- position anyways. And, you know, she didn't have to get it out or she got drunk and passed out and didn't get him out because she thought he would get himself out. That's basically the best arguments you can really come up with without knowing more facts. That's really uh, what it comes down to is she's going to need more facts because what she has right now is not is not looking great for her. All right. We have gotten to the one hour mark. This was interesting. The questions were great, as always. Uh, I appreciate everybody joining. We have. Oh. I forgot to mention this completely. I think starting right when this ends, if not shortly after, I did a video on the attorney general's office in DC suing the Washington commanders, Roger Goodell, the NFL and Dan Snyder, the owner of the Washington commanders. There is a lot of juice and craziness that's gone on in that football NFL franchise and I wanted to know if this lawsuit was filed, would we actually get any answers? If you remember John Gruden and how he got fired for some nasty emails and things that he was saying, well, it all had to do with this investigation with the Washington football team. So if you are interested in that and want to see it, stick around because that's coming next. Um, if not, I appreciate you guys joining me for this one. And we're going to do Daryl Brooks starting next week. We've got um, some Theranos, Elizabeth Holmes from Pete coming this weekend again on Saturday night. So we got lots of stuff lined up. We're going to keep the content coming your way um, with another video today, a two for today. Uh, one on Saturday, Daryl Brooks uh, sentencing early next week. Paula's going to be there because she's a member. P Hop is always around. So I appreciate you, P Hop. And yes, hit that like button on the way out in this case. And if you stick around for the next video, hit the like button on that one too. But for now, thank you all so much for being with me. I am going to get a blizzard next chance I get, Nancy. So thank you for that. Um, Enjoy your weekend, everybody. Appreciate you.